grateful for your driver colleagues, Stephen, who have brought a, a, about this landmark ruling. Absolutely not. I'm really very concerned. Uh, I, I just don't understand what it's all about. You don't want sick pay, holiday pay, minimum wage? Uh, well, I'm self-employed. Because I'm self-employed, I get a lot of benefits with Uber. I can work when I want to. I can start when I want. I can stop when I want. I have total flexibility. I, it never occurred to me over the last four years, and it's been four years that I've been using the Uber app, uh, that I would ever get holiday pay or sick pay. I mean, I just... Just Is it never your only my job? Mind. Is that where all your money comes from? It's where all my money comes from, but I, I work on other projects which uh, I'm developing, uh, creative projects which don't provide an income. And the great thing about Uber is, is you can work on your own projects which might not provide an income straight away. So what would you say to them then? I mean, are you exceptional? What would you say no. to all the people who say, this is terrible, I'm working as hard as I can, I'm not making enough money, I should be getting a proper wage? I, well, first of all, you, they, they, you, we're not employed by Uber. We're not being paid a wage. I mean, it, it's trade across the car industry. It's always been that way. I mean, taxi drivers uh, are self-employed, have been self-employed since time immemorial. They're all beginning to use the Halo app. So what's going to happen? When they're all using the Halo app, they're employed by Halo and they're no Ch longer self-employed? Chionwara, how would you respond to Stephen's thoughts this evening then? Well, firstly, I think this is a great judgment. It's a great ruling. It's great for for all the Uber workers, and it's also good for Uber. And it's good for Stephen. Now, Stephen, I'm really pleased that you feel that you're in control of your work, and I am sure that um, you know that that that's that's good for you. But there are 40,000 Uber drivers, and what this ruling says is that they don't have the kind of control of how they get their jobs how they get what they're paid for it and whether they can refuse it that constitutes self-employment and you've really got to take a hat off to the GMB for showing what a modern union does which is to stand up for the rights of working people and how they are transformed in the new Let, digital environment. Stephen, do you think it will actually make th things harder for you? Absolutely. I think it's regressive. I think the world is changing. I think people have one job, two jobs, they do a number of things, and I think that the, the employment law needs to reflect that. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it, Chionwara? If, if you are stifling entrepreneurship, if you are making these disruptive technologies feel like they should behave, you know, like a John Lewis, like a more conservative shop, then you're stopping people coming forwards with new projects, aren't you, ultimately? I'm not sure John Lewis is conservative, it's more of a cooperative, but what your point is is really important, and that's why I say this is good for Uber. Because, I mean, I'm a tech evangelist. I worked in telecoms and tech for 20 years before coming into Parliament, and I think it can make technology can make hugely progressive difference to all our lives. But the kind of power... You know, in control that this judgment, the judgment is very important in the detail, shows that Uber had over drivers when they got jobs, how quickly they had to respond, effective performance management. If you've got that kind of control and mm. power over a driver, over an, somebody, then you have responsibilities to them. And I think too often, you know, the people who perhaps imp implement this great new technology, which can change our lives for the better, they forget that there are still responsibilities in the real world yeah. to the people who well, are the, who are delivering don't you that. Don't forget that you are actually working for a big corporate giant. I'm not working for a big corporate giant. I'm working for myself. I can choose to accept a job. I can choose when I want to work. I'm I'm not working for a big corporate giant. So do you think there will be I, numbers I the, dropping as a result of this? I would think, think so. I, in my view, that big corporate giant is working for me. They're getting me work, they're collecting the money, they take a small percentage of it. So what do you think will happen it. as a result of this ruling? I'm really worried. Why? You know, I, because I don't see how Uber would be able to operate in the way that uh, is being suggested. What, they're going to take everybody on on a salary? I don't see how. So what will they do then, Chionwara? That's going to be redundancies, that's going to be layoffs, isn't it? If you what, can call it that. What Uber will have, will have to do is to uh, adapt their business model to reflect the fact that the, the labour that they are using, the people, you know, in, and Stephen doesn't have control. If he rejects a job, that is part of his performance management by Uber, and they have the, they have the ability to deactivate it's true. You're judged in 20 on that, seconds. Right? You can be but, deactivated or you can well, be rated. Well, I don't know why would people would, would, would turn down too many jobs, because you're out there to earn money. So 
I don't you, know why people would turn. So you can't really turn them. Occasionally, you no. Have... Occasionally, I turn. I think my acceptance rate is ninety six. Is um, is about ninety six percent. No, that's fantastic for Stephen. But you know, people have people may have other commitments. They may have care responsibilities. They may have um, they may have unexpected illnesses. Yeah. Whatever. The, the the important thing is here that Uber needs to recognise that the labour which helps deliver its sixty two billion dollars worth of market value. That all that labour has rights, and it will be better off. Uber as a company will be better off if it respects okay. and values the people that work for them. And this judgment should help us do that. Jim Moore and Stephen Rowe, thank you very much. Thanks both of you.